I think it'll just invoke you know emotions from people. They'll remember you know going to the theater, seeing it, or you know renting it on VHS and you know seeing it then. Well, if you take a look over my shoulder, you'll see what they're so excited about. A little while ago, when an old billboard was removed, look what was revealed underneath. A 31-year-old billboard for the iconic Mel Brooks movie Spaceballs, released in 1987. Never would have thought that this was an old movie poster, and that's actually so cool. The most sinister villain in the universe, Dark Helmet. I can't breathe in this thing! Spaceball. Pretty much the exact same storyline as um, Episode 4 or the first Star Wars movie to come out. Um, but obviously each character they take in a, in a different way. Um, and yeah, you can uh, see it, not quite the Star Wars character. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sitting on Eglinton Avenue near the Allen, this billboard doesn't have those characters on it. But if you look very closely, you can see the famous ship. Two big Canadian stars in the movie as well. Of course, Rick Rick Moranis and John John Candy. Wow, wow. While the discovery brings back nostalgia for fans, one expert who restores movie posters says it's not that rare to reveal these old gems. Over the years, uh, they've uncovered vintage movie posters um, that were layered upon layer. So uh, theater owners, or in this case, advertisers, um, would take a billboard, um, and, and after the, the, the time or the run of the, the film or so on, um, they would slap wallpaper paste on it, and they would put uh, another poster on it, and so on, and so on, and so on. And as wonderful as it would be to restore this movie billboard, that likely won't happen. It's always exciting to see, um, you know, the un uh, uncovering of, of vintage stuff. Um, Spaceballs uh, isn't the Wizard of Oz, but you know what? Um, it's got a cult following, and as a spoof to Star Wars, um, you know, it has a place in history. You gonna go watch the movie now? Sure, might as well, honestly. Now this building is vacant and undergoing renovation, so it's unclear what will eventually happen to this billboard, but for now, passers-by are enjoying the nostalgia. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.